Hey everyone, this is Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really easy farmhouse sign. You can put any wording you want in there and I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you're interested, just keep on watching and I will show you the items that you need. Okay, so the items you need are a printer to print out the sign, some printing paper, and of course the ink for the printer. The sign that I have, and I will show you how to do that on PicMonkey. I'm gonna leave this one in the description box below, and I will also show you how to make your own. A uh, picture frame, this is what my sign is gonna go in if you don't have the tools to make your own farmhouse sign. I've been having this frame just sitting there, so this is perfect for that. And then my chalk paint, my little brush, and just a little bit of sandpaper to distress the frame. You don't have to do that, but you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint the frame real quick and then I will let it dry and then distress it a little bit. So I'm just gonna start off painting the sides and then I will sit it down and then paint the top part of it. So what you're going to do is open up PicMonkey. Now you don't have to have an account. I used to have an account and pay for it, but you don't have to have an account to design or edit a picture. If you want the butt first coffee sign, I will leave it in the description box below. Or if you want to make your own, you don't want an actual coffee sign, you want it to say something else, then I'm going to show you how to do that. So just go to design. I've been using it on 33.3, which is the size of it. And you can leave it white if you want. I did it kind of a light creamy color. So I just grabbed this and brought it more over here toward the yellow color. And kind of play around with the color you want. So you can go darker or lighter right here, like that. So just push apply. And then after you do that, you're going to go to this area right here for the text. You can play around with it and look for one that you like. Um, I'm going to show you what I used for the butt first coffee and I'm going to print out another one. Okay, so I'm going to use this special elite font and put add text and then I'm going to type in butt first, oops, comma, and then center it with this. You're going to push it in the center and then click outside of the text and then drag it to where you want and make it as big as you want. So maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, so now you wanna do coffee and I wanna do it more of a cursive font. So you can just look for one or just use one that we already have. Let's try this one. Add text and put Coffee. Center it. So I'm going to center it again. Make it bigger. So maybe like that. And then line it up. All right. So that is pretty much it. You can make your own or just use the one that I have in the description box. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to screenshot it and that automatically saves to my computer. And then we will print it out. So you just put file, print, and you want it a little bit smaller than that. So just push scale, and I'm gonna put 80. I think that's big enough. So let's go ahead and print it out. It's pretty much dried at this point. So I already kind of started the sandpaper process right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start distressing it a little bit. Okay, so now for the fun part, let's go ahead and get our little sign and fold it in here. 